So you've got your iPhone, you take amazing pictures, and you've got your Mac. You want to get your pictures onto there to make even more amazing edits. Or maybe just for safekeeping. But you don't know how. Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, we will show you how. Stay tuned to find out more. A quick note before we start. This won't just show you how to import your photos, it will also show you how to convert them to a JPEG, which most operating systems can view. This is also good for portable hard drives. Hello, I'm Mac. I just want to show you that I am running OS X iCapitan. Um, so it may be different if you're running an older version, so I'm running the latest version at the moment, or even if there's a newer version. Um, so don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comments. So some things might be slightly different, but overall it's the same process. Okay, so now let's get into the tutorial. So first what you want to do is you want to go and plug in your 32 pin connector or lightning connector. Both of those will be on the screen now. And just wait. Those are iPhotos depending on what version you've got will open up. So now you want to select the photos that you want. Um, so you can import all the items or you can select individual photos. So to select you, you click, so I'm going to go do that one, that one, um, maybe that one. Okay, so now I've selected those, you want to go and import the three selected or import all items. So import three selected, okay so now they are here. What you want to go and do is drag and move the mouse to select them all or or you can do command a and that will do the same thing so let's just show you that like that and then you want to go and hit file export and then export three photos okay so now it will come up with the screen like this and I would just leave everything the same. I wouldn't touch anything unless if you want to include your like where you were when you took that photo, you can tick that. But other than that, um, leave everything as it is. Now you want to hit export. So now you can choose a place to store that information. And I'm going to go, and I'm just going to store it in my documents. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call it iPhone and then I'm going to export them into there. So yeah, now I'll say they've been successfully imported. Now if I open up Finder and go to Documents and now if I find iPhone which is here And then, as you can see, my photos are now there. So I hope this video was helpful. If you've got any questions, um, please leave them in the comment section. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos like this. Bye!